Alright everybody, I'm back and on this quick little video, I'm definitely going to show you guys the quick way to do these butt joints, okay? Um, what I what I do is, is I, I run a 14 inch knife and I'm working with 40 minute mud so I'm going to have to be quick, okay? Okay, so I put the stuff on. Pretty quick like that. Not afraid to put it on the wall. And then I bring it down to this recess edge and then I just feather the end like that. Same thing with here, I feather the edge out just like that. Make it nice and clean. Okay? And I come down through the middle. Feeling anywhere that seems to be a little, a little light. And that's good, right there, just like that. Super quick, uh, doing a butt joint shouldn't take more than, I would say, <laughs> no more than a minute. If you're spending more than one minute on it, you're taking too long. So, that's a, uh, we get a super close up with that. I mean, Larry, you barely can even see any lift off. You're gonna, you're gonna get it on the second coat. Nothing is, uh, the second coat will, will make this thing what you need it to be, so. Like I said, Butt joint shouldn't take more than a minute. If you're taking more than that, you're lagging it. And then with that, with that, that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna throw in a little bonus because some people say they do their, their butt joints and recess joints uh, separately, but I'm here to say that you can do them both at the same time, okay? So I'm gonna follow up now with doing the recess, okay? And I know I'm gonna catch some I'm gonna catch something for this because I don't have my eight inch and I usually do that with eight inch so I'm gonna be a little different but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that you can do your butt joints and recess joints all at the same time. Like the butt joints, you want to feather out your edges. Just like that. Just like that, nice and clean. Okay? I'm gonna continue on with uh, this lower butt joint. Just because you should, you should get a nice flow, knock out a room like this. By hand, it shouldn't take more than half hour. Same thing, feather your edges, and then come back up.
without it. like that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do your corner bead into a butt joint. Okay. So corner bead into a butt joint. Let's see here. Hope this is visible. So corner bead into a butt joint. This is how I do it, okay? I treat it just like a, a regular butt joint. Okay? Time to tie in this corner bead right here. I treat it really just like a piece of corn bead. I just run it super wide. You know, if this is the first time you're doing all this, then yeah, it's going to be challenging, but you're only going to get better at it with practice, so. Whoa, just like that, guys. That, that, that looks really good. Okay, 
So, next thing I'm going to want to do is uh, finish up this butt joint, tie into that zip strip up there, and bam. Just like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so look, when it comes to, to um, floating out zip strip, I used to start with a, a six and I finish with an eight. It doesn't take any more than that. Okay, so let me uh, change the angle. Let me change the angle on that. That way you can see me work. Okay, I got a six inch. Okay. You know, don't try to get it all in one, one shot. You're just not going to do it. So, once you get it up in there, you just feather the edges like you do everything else. And you walk away. You walk away until you, you walk away until the second coat. Because that right there is good. All right, now, Barricade over here. Okay, now I'm going to gravitate over here and I'm going to finish the top. Okay, feather the edges and come back over the top. And pull it tight. Beautiful. Knock out those tops. Again, feather, feather the bottoms and then float the top down. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to get right behind there and uh, do behind the, the, that light. Okay, this is going to be fun right here. Uh, there you go. Got that to go. And then, turn the camera one more time. All right. You get some more, you get a little more light into my pan. Keep practicing, you're gonna get really good at it. Just just work on quality. Work on quality first. Quantity will come. Okay. For, um, that first coat there, and then this is where I tie in this corner all the way down. Not 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 a lick of mud on on that on that um not a lick of mud on on, on the stove. Alright. Alright, I got this thing twisted. Let me try to straighten my camera out. Okay, so I'm going to finish that up right there. Now, 
just got to spot these screws, okay? When it comes to spotting screws, I just do one swipe. I tap them all in before I, I even get going because I don't want to have to stop to address clippers. Okay? Okay, so one thing I need to pick up on before I get, get ahead of myself, I gotta tape that with paper. Pressing a little harder on one end than the other. Okay. There you go. Once again, it's all about feathering those edges. And. Boom. Just like that. Okay. And then last but not least, okay. I can't show you this corner because I have to close the door. Okay, last but not least, I can't show you the corner because I gotta close the door. So um, basically, <laughs> this took me like 20 minutes just to knock out this room. And, but, but by no means am I promoting quantity over quality. So uh, get your quality down first. And once you do that, 
work under stay out there. And with that being said, I appreciate everybody and God bless you guys, okay? Bye.